Dr. Bratcher, welcome to Health Connection. Thank Glad you. to have you. Our topic is your thyroid. It's a small gland with a big impact. So we like to start segments off whenever we can with definitions. Where is the thyroid gland and what does it do? Well, the thyroid is a small butterfly-shaped gland over your Adam's apple or you know, uh, underneath your skin and it basically makes metabolic hormones that affect almost every system in your body. When the thyroid makes hormones or it makes more hormones than the body needs, it's called hyperthyroidism. Yes. What is hyperthyroidism and what are its symptoms? Um, hyperthyroidism is the excess of the actual thyroid hormones and when they are elevated, they tend to cause symptoms like weight loss, um, tremors, palpitations, um, increased number of stools, uh, problems sleeping, anxiety sort of anxiety and panic type um, uh, symptoms. How do you treat hyperthyroidism? Well, it depends on what caused it. Um, there are medications that can block excess thyroid hormone production. Um, surgery is always an option, but not usually the first one. Um, and there's radioactive iodine, which targets those cells that are overproducing, uh, kills them off, and uh, renders you either a normal thyroid or low thyroid. The opposite of hyperthyroidism is hypothyroidism, when your thyroid doesn't make enough of the hormones. What causes hypothyroidism and how do you treat that? What are, before that, what are its symptoms? Well, hypothyroidism is, uh, like you said, the opposite, and it's actually much more common than hyper, and it's really a very common disease. Um, the symptoms can be constipation, dry skin, maybe loss of hair. Um, there can be some mild weight gain. Um, the weight is, ma is mainly f uh, actually water or fluid. Um, but those are the most common ones that, that people think about. With that problem, hypothyroidism, how do you treat it? Now that's usually treated with the um, administration of the hormone from a prescription vial, um, such as Synthroid, um, which is called synthetic because it's made in a you know, made in a laboratory, but it actually is the same hormone that your body makes. What's the connection between thyroid disease and heart disease? Um, low thyroid can um, cause problems with uncontrolled hypertension. It also, um, if your thyroid is not optimal, your lipids can be high or your cholesterol can be high. So in those way, it, it does have direct effects on the heart as well. Um, but we mainly um, are worried about not being able to achieve good blood pressure control and not having um, good cholesterols if your thyroid is not uh, working properly. For women especially, thyroid gland is frequently blamed for women being overweight. How common is an underactive thyroid in weight gain for women? Um, you're, you're very correct. A lot of people want to blame the thyroid. It, uh, Low thyroid can cause some mild weight gain, but it's not to the degree that most people think it is. It's probably never more than 10% of your body weight. Um, and a lot of it is fluid um, or edema. So it's, you know, when somebody thinks it's their thyroid, even when you correct it, it's not like a magic bullet. It's, they should not really blame most of their weight issues on the thyroid. Aside from what we talked about so far, are there other diseases of the thyroid gland? Um, certainly, there's thyroid cancer, um, which um, is not common, fortunately, um, and well is e you know more easily treated than most cancers. Um, there's nodules, and they are the ones that are suspicious for uh, that's where cancer comes from. So um, basically, cancer nodules, and there are inflammatory processes like thyroiditis that uh, happen to the thyroid. What's the diagnostic process for figuring out thyroid disease? How do you diagnose thyroid disease? Most of the thyroid uh, diagnostic tests are blood work to, usually to begin with, and then we can use ultrasounds. Um, we can use um, radioactive iodine sc uh, tr uh, scans, and um, for nodules we use needle uh, aspirations. But um, most of it is by is blood work first, and then perhaps an imaging um, scan. Okay. If you've been diagnosed with thyroid disease, when do you need to see a specialist, 
assessment and an endocrinologist? When do you need to seek that level of treatment? Uh, most, you know, most hypothyroidism is treated in the primary care setting. Generally, hyperthyroidism is something that should be um, sent to the endocrinologist um, to get to the problem, uh, you know, get to the root of the problem more quickly and um, get it fixed. Um, nodules uh, are more often referred to the endocrinologist to rule out cancer. Um, definitely cancer patients should be followed by an endocrinologist. Can thyroid disease be cured or is it lifelong? Um, it depends on what type you're talking about. Um, hyperthyroidism can be, um, can be treated with medications. Some people go into remission and they don't have a problem with it again. Um, you know, surgical problems, I, you would think of that more as a cure. But the most common form of hypothyroidism is generally a lifelong um, problem, but it's, you know, treated quite simply by um, just taking the medication. Is it treated successfully? Yes. I mean, I think a lot of people get the idea that if they have one of these problems that that's causing symptoms, but once you have treated the thyroid, say in hypothyroidism, you bring them back to the normal level with medicines, then they really shouldn't have um, the symptoms of the disease because you've replaced the hormone and made it uh, normal again. Very well. Doctor, thank you very much. Right. Thank you.